year two, we are going to carry on with some Columbus inspired art today. And we are going to draw his ship. So we're going to start off with the body of the boat. So we're going to draw a line. And a U shape, but a bit of a flat one. And another line. And then we bring this one down. We, we don't carry all the way around because this is where the sea would be touching the boat. So you wouldn't be able to see the bottom. And then just before the end of our line, about a, a half a thumb's length, we're going to draw another line down to touch the sea. And these boats were made of wood. So we're going to make this look a little bit like wood. So we're going to put some lines across the body of our boat. All the way. And if we put a slight little bend on them. It makes the boat look rounder. And then the bottom needs to be wavy because that where the sea is. Got a few wavy lines on. I can like make that little line a little bit longer. Now we need some mass, don't we? A mast. We used to catch the wind and push the boat along. So they need to be very sturdy, don't they? We're going to start with the one in the middle. And this was the big one. So we need, it looks a bit like an oblong, but the edges are curved. Because the wind's blowing it, making it push outwards a little bit. So there's one, and we need a smaller one of those on top. One at the front. This is quite a good size. Catching all the wind. Now the one at the back wasn't really for catching wind, but it was for directing. So the sail would catch the wind and then would steer the boat whichever way the sail was pointed. So, but this one was a different shape. It was like a very long triangle, a bit more like a shark's fin actually. So now we need to connect these sails to the boat, because otherwise they would just fly away, wouldn't they? So I'm going to use my ruler. And I'm going to put a line all the way down, but not on the sail itself. Just on the bit of paper where the sail isn't. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker by doing two lines next to each other. There we go. And the same for the one at the front. And the same for the one at the back. And they had ropes tying them down. And they were just little lines like that. It ties them to the mast. Now if you're wondering why I haven't put any ropes on the top, you wouldn't be able to see them properly because the mast is in the way. circles on the side of the boat. These bullet holes. And 
so the sailors could see where they were going when they were inside the boat. Now these boats, I've seen these. Sailors crosses on to show whose boat this boat's. So we'll put some on and we'll follow that same curve because the pattern on these sails would become curved with the wind pushing them. So now we can colour this in. Now I'm going to use felt tips just because you can see it a little bit better on the camera. But you can use pencils or crayons or whatever you have. So I'm going to start with the boat itself. I'm going to colour. I'm going to colour this brown because the wood would have been a brown colour. Now we can colour the masts as well. Now they would have been made from wood, so we can do those in that brown as well. There we go. As I said, the crosses were red. So let's have a nice bright red. Now the sea. Now I'm going to use a darker blue for the sea. Um, so you can see it a bit better as well. I want to do the sky a little bit lighter. So the sea is always level. So whenever you look at it, it's always going to be straight. So I'm going to draw a line across to show me where my horizon is. And that is the end of my sea. So I'm going to colour it in very quickly. And now the sky. Now if you find your sky when you've coloured it in, there's got little white patches in it where the pencil hasn't quite caught or it's just missed it. That's fine because that makes it look like it's got clouds. One thing I've forgotten we need to just put a little bit of black in there. You can use a pencil to colour it in. Because you wouldn't be able to see inside, it'd be very dark in there. Okay, now we can add a little bit of wood to our boat and we're finished. So we add a little bit of wood just by very carefully. Using your pencil or your pen to go very gently, just add some little lines. Perfectly straight and joined up into little marks like that. All over. Now I'd go on an adventure in that boat. I cannot wait to see yours. I'll see you again next week. <laughs>